believe in lack. If you believe in lack a tiny little bit, but you don't fully believe in it, it'll just feel a little like groaning, like, mm, okay, they left me. Oh, well, there's you know plenty of fish in the sea. Okay, I'll surrender. But if your belief really is like, no, this person was everything to me. In other words, I am nothing. I am reduced to ashes without the love and the presence and the validation of this other person. That is such an untrue picture in the eyes of creation that it will make you feel really, really, really shitty. Who has ever experienced that? Anyone? Yay, good. That's beautiful. That was just symbolizing how much of yourself you have placed outside yourself and how much you chose for all those years to not believe that you are loved. That's an excellent observation. It's an excellent occurrence because now you can actually do something with it. You can actually realize that you had those beliefs that clearly are not true, otherwise they would feel good, right? Now, what beliefs do you have that actually feel good? Far too few. But which ones do you have? Start expanding upon those. Start empowering yourself in the perspective of, and I just name a few examples, but you can tailor this to your own needs, to your own desires, to your own resonance. I am a creature of consciousness. I am consciousness that has a vibration. I am the chooser of my vibration. My vibration then will reflect itself in my physical circumstances, which are inherently empty and meaningless. I do not have to take my cue from my circumstances because they are empty and meaningless. I can give to my experience whatever vibration, whatever definition I wish to give to my experience, and that will be exactly, exactly the experience I get out of my circumstances. Therefore, circumstances don't have inherent experiences to offer me. I only ever give myself my own experience. So knowing that, I can choose my own state of being.